In this tutorial, you'll learn how to make 5 cutest and easiest friendship bracelets ever. Hey guys! You may already know that I love bracelets. I love making them, giving them and most of all, wearing them. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make 5 beautiful bracelets using string. These are perfect for beginners, super easy and fast to make. You can make them for yourself or your friends. I'll show you how. First, we're making this beautiful colorful rope bracelet. You'll need a small piece of cardboard, any rounded object, a pencil, a button for the closure, four colors of embroidery string and scissors. Start by making a simple bracelet loom. Take your rounded object, I'm using a glass, place it on the piece of cardboard and outline the glass to get a circle. Cut it out with scissors. Mark the center of the circle and make 8 little lines on the outer edge, dividing the circle into 8 equal sections. Take the scissors and make short cuts along the lines. The cuts should be about half an inch long or shorter. Take your pencil again and push the tip through the center of the circle to get a little hole. And here we have a bracelet loom which we can reuse to make the bracelets for all our friends. Cut 4 pieces of embroidery string, each approximately 25 inches long. Fold the strings in half and knot them together like so. We have 8 strings coming out from the knot, but we need just 7 of them. So take one string and cut it off very close to the knot. Push the loop and the knot through the center of the cardboard loom like this. Next we need to randomly arrange the strings around the circle by placing them into the cuts. There must be one string in one cut and since we have 7 strings and 8 cuts around the loom, one cut will stay free. Hold the loom so that the empty cut faces towards you. Count 1, 2, 3, take the third string and place it into the empty cut. Rotate the loom, 1, 2, 3, take the third string and move it into the free cut. This is all you need to do. Rotate the loom and move the third string into the empty cut. Well, after you get the hang of it, you won't need to rotate the loom anymore. Just count 3 strings left from the empty cut and move the third string into it. After a while, you will notice a lovely rope bracelet on the other side of your loom. You can make your bracelet as long as you want. I want to wrap it around my wrist just once, but you can also wrap it two or even three times. Just remember to cut longer pieces of thread to begin with. When the bracelet is long enough, release all the strings from the cuts and take it off the loom. Make a little knot to secure your work like this. For the button closure, choose one thread, I like to go for the color that matches my button, and thread the button on. Slide the button as close to the bracelet knot as you can and make a few small knots to secure it in place. Trim the excess thread away and you're all done with this beautiful bracelet. It only takes about 20 minutes to complete one, which is just awesome! I'm in love with the button closures because they are super practical and very cute at the same time. Next we're making this color blocking spiral bracelet. We need embroidery floss, scissors and a button. I decided to use 4 colors of thread, you can use more or less different colors, whatever you prefer. Put all 4 thread colors together and cut at about 50 inches. Now fold this big string of threads in half and make a knot slightly below the folded end to get a little loop for the button closure. Finally, it's time to start knotting. Out of the 8 strings, choose one and start making normal forward knots around the remaining 7 threads. To make a forward knot, take your working string, make a 4 shape over the remaining 7 strings like so and then simply go under the 7 strings and up through the loop of the number 4. Pull the working string so that the knot slides and tightens. To keep the spiral going smoothly, I like to go under the 7 strings with my working thread when the knots arrive to my right side. Then just continue knotting forward as usual. After several knots, you'll notice that the knots automatically form this knotted spiral shape around the bracelet. If you don't have this cool branch to hang your bracelet on while knotting, you can totally tape it on a flat surface or pin it on a blanket or pillow if you like making your bracelets in bed. To switch the working color, simply pick up another color from the bunch and continue making exactly the same forward knots. 
my spiral has now reached the right side, therefore I need to go below the 7 strings to the left side with my working string before I can continue knotting. Time to switch the color Goodbye Green and Hello Blue. Of course, you can use any colors you like for the bracelet. I'm using 4 different colors here, but if you want, you can use 2, 3 or more. This time we used 4 thread pieces to begin with. If you'd like your bracelet to be thinner, use only 3 thread pieces, and if you want it to be thicker, use 5. That's the beauty of bracelet making, you get to decide the details. When your bracelet is long enough, make a final knot to secure it. This time I'm using a cute flower button for the closure. Thread the button on one of the strings, make two knots to secure it and cut the excess thread away. This bracelet is seriously so straightforward and easy. On top, it will only take you around 20 to 30 minutes to finish it. I love to cozy up in bed on a cold fall or winter day, turn on some music or TV and make bracelets at the same time. The bracelet is all done and look how beautiful it is! Yay! Now let's make this lovely fishtail bracelet. We're gonna need 4 string colors, scissors, a button and a needle. Cut 40 inch long thread of each color, pull the threads in half and make a knot. I decided to make this bracelet on a pillow. Pin the threads in place using a needle by going through the pillow and the loop like so. Separate the threads into two sets, one of each color on each side. Arrange the threads in a mirror image pattern. When making a fishtail bracelet, all you have to do is take the outside string on the left and bring it inside to the right. Then take the outside string on the right and bring it inside to the left. To make the braid nice and tight, you'll have to take the strings into your hands while braiding. The concept of fishtail braiding a bracelet is the same as fishtail braiding your hair, so if you're familiar with that, a fishtail bracelet will be a piece of cake for you. And even if you never did a braid in your life, it is just super simple to learn. So take the outside string on the left and bring it over to the right, then take the outside string on the right and bring it over to the left. This bracelet will take 10 minutes top to complete it and honestly I think it looks so cool. Finish with a knot to secure the fishtail braid. Take a button, I have this beautiful yellow flower and thread it onto the chosen string. Slide the button close to the bracelet end and secure it in place by making two knots. Trim the excess string and voila, our fishtail bracelet is all done! If you want to have a thicker bracelet, you can use more than four pieces of string. If you'd rather have a thinner bracelet, go for only three string pieces. Let's add even more cuteness to our hands with this always beautiful striped Frenchie bracelet. You will need some embroidery thread, scissors and a button. I'm gonna make the bracelet using 3 string colors, yellow, blue and corally red. For the button I'm choosing this red heart. Cut about 80 inches of each string color, fold the strings in half and make a knot like so. Finally we are ready to start knotting. Set the bracelet in place using a piece of tape. Arrange the strings by color. I have red strings on the left, yellow in the middle and blue strings on the right. Take the outside string on the left, red in my case, and knot it over all other 5 strings on the right until the working string reaches the end on the right side. Make a forward knot by creating a 4 shape over the second string, loop the working string under and back through the opening. Pull the working string to tighten the knot. Move on to the yellow and finally blue strings. Make 2 forward knots by making a 4 shape, loop the red working string under and back through the opening. Pull the string to tighten. Make sure to always knot twice. And our first row is complete. Let's continue with the second row. Take the outside string on the left, which is red again, and make two forward knots over the yellow string next to it. Then continue knotting over the remaining 4 strings until the working string reaches the right side. 
It is super important that you always make two forward knots over each string. And repeat, take the left string, which is now yellow, and knot twice over all the other strings. You just need to keep making these forward knots and adding rows by rows to your bracelet until it's long enough to fit your wrist. I already made heart and chevron friendship bracelet tutorials which you can find on my channel. This diagonal striped bracelet is the easiest and perfect if you're a beginner in bracelet making. Similarly as with other bracelets in this tutorial, using more pieces of string will give you a wider bracelet. So if you're using 4 strings at the beginning, you get 8 when you fold them and the bracelet will be for the width of 2 knots wider than this one. Let's see the forward knot slowly once again. Take the outside string on the left and make a forward knot by creating a 4 shape over the second string. Lead the tip of the working string under the second string and back through the opening. Pull the working string to tighten the knot. Make one more knot before moving to the next string. This bracelet takes a bit more time than other bracelets in this tutorial, but I think it's absolutely worth spending an hour for something as beautiful as this. Continue knotting until your bracelet is long enough to wrap your wrist. When you reach that length, make a final knot to secure your work. Take a button, thread it on the chosen string and make two knots as close to the bracelet end as possible. Cut off the excess thread and there you go, the bracelet is finished! Wear this classic friendship bracelet on its own or combine it with other jewelry pieces. It's so sleek and simple but adds a nice pop of color to any look. The last bracelet we're making today is this lovely floss wrap chain bracelet. We will need a chain, a clasp, embroidery thread, needle, scissors and two pliers. First we need to shorten the chain so it fits our wrist perfectly. Note that you need to leave some space for the clasp so I'm taking an inch less than the size of my wrist. To split the chain into two pieces, simply open the chain loop. For a thick chain as mine, you will need some strong pliers, so thanks dad, this worked perfectly. Next we need to add the clasp. Open the little ring on one side of the clasp and attach it to one end of the chain. Do the same with the other clasp ring and attach it to the other chain end. Try the bracelet on to see if it looks good. I'm happy with mine, so I can proceed to the string part. We'll need quite a long piece of thread to dress up the chain along the entire side of the bracelet. It depends on how thick you want to wrap it, but I used about 130 inches of thread for this bracelet. Not one thread end to a big needle. The other thread end needs to be tied on a chain end. Make two knots to be really sure the thread won't untie, because that would be really frustrating. Start wrapping the thread around the chain by leading the needle through the chain loop down and then up again like so. As you can see, we are wrapping the thread only along one side of the chain, while the other side stays golden. You can switch off the color of your thread to your favorite color or a color that matches some particular outfit. I love how a coral color looks paired with gold. If you run out of thread in the middle of the bracelet, just knot a new thread piece to it and continue. This way you can also switch the thread colors along the chain and you'll end up with a cool color blocking bracelet. When you reach the end, make a couple of knots to secure your work. Cut away the excess thread and you're ready to rock this gorgeous chain threaded bracelet. Even with bracelets made entirely from thread, I like to stack on some metal jewelry pieces. So this bracelet is perfect because it has both by default. Two in one, you know? Friendship bracelets are meant to be handed to your friends as a token of love and connection. But I don't blame you if you make bracelets just to rock them yourself. I do it all the time. And these were my 5 easy friendship bracelets. I hope the tutorial was helpful and you'll try to make them too. If you do so, don't forget to share your pictures with me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. I love you, sending you big hugs and bunch of kisses. Bye!